Now this video will guide you through creating a simple text generation model using Hugging Face Transformers library building a fast API applications to expose a REST API for generating text and deploying it using a Docker container. So let's get started. For this, uh, these are the prerequisites. That is a basic understanding of Python, Hugging Face Transformers, Fast API and Docker. Then having a pre-trained transformer model and then a text generation function written in Python. So first of all, we will create three files named as app.py, requirements.txt and docker file. So this is the Python code which we shall use for app.py file. Now this code creates a fast API application which is a web framework for building APIs with Python. And the primary purpose of this code is to handle get request to the generate endpoint which will generate text using a pre-trained text generation model from the transformers library. And here the code is divided into several parts. First we will import the required libraries like fast API is used to create the web framework then we have course middleware is used to configure cross origin resource sharing which is important for allowing requests from different domains to interact with the api then we will use redirect response to redirect request to the api documentation then we have pipeline to create an instance of the text generation pipeline and then we will create a new fast api app instance called app will add the codes middleware to the app and this configuration allows requests from any origin enables credentials and permits all methods and headers then we will initialize the text generation pipeline by loading the google flan t5 small model from the transformers library and then we will define a root path that redirects request to the api documentation and then we will define the generate endpoint which takes a text parameter now this endpoint uses the initialized text generation pipeline to create new text based on the input text. Here the generated text is then returned to the JSON response. So when you run this fast API app and access the generate endpoint with a get request, it will generate new text based on the provided input text and result the uh, return and the result in a JSON format. Then comes the requirements.txt code. Now this code is a list of Python packages that needs to be installed for your project to run successfully and it should be saved as a file named requirements.txt. Here fast API package is used to create fast API web applications which is a modern fast and lightweight Python web framework based on the standard Python dependencies. Then we will have a UVCon which is a Python uh, 3.7 plus ASGI server for UVCon, high performance lightweight and modular ASGI server. Basically it is used for running fast API applications. Then we have transformers which is a state of art library for natural language processing. Then we will use torch which is uh, the core library for PyTorch, a Python machine library that provides a simple and flexible interface for defining computational graphs. After this, have, by having these packages installed in your project, you will have access to the necessary tools to create a fast API application that uses the Hugging Face Transformers library. Now there the requirements.txt file is used to ensure that the required packages are installed consistently. Then we will make a code for docker file. Now this code is a docker file which is used to define the instructions for building a docker image. Here the image is intended to run a fast API application and the primary purpose of this docker file is to set up an environment for fast API application and run it. So in this code we will use the official python 3.9 image as the base image for the docker container. Then we will set the working directory to code. Then we will copy the requirements.txt file into the container. We will install the dependencies listed in the requirements.txt file. Then we will create a new user named user with a user ID of 1000. Then we will switch the user context to the newly created user. Then we will set the home directory for the user to home user. Then we will set the working directory to the user's home directory and will copy the current directed contents into the container at home user app. Here the ownership of the copied file will be set to the user. Then we will expose 
this port 7860 which is the port that fast api will run on and will specify the command to run when the container is started and this command will start the fast api application using the uvcon server on this port 7860 which is the default port expected by the spaces so when you build and run a container from this docker file it will create a minimal environment with the necessary dependencies installed switch to the user account and run the fast api application now it's a time to create a docker space on this hugging space using create new spaces next you can choose any name you prefer for the project select a license use docker as a software development kit now spaces uh, provide pre built docker templates like argila livebook that let you quickly start your ml projects using the open source tool but if you choose this blank and here also we are choosing this blank option it means that you want to create your docker file manually then you will start writing the app okay now that you have an empty space repository it's time to add some code so we will add three files here first is the requirements.txt file then app.py file and the docker file which set up the environment installs this requirement then launches this app.py file so to do that navigate to your space files and then choose this add file format and you can also use the git here so make sure that you name each file exactly as we have done here that is app.py requirements.txt and docker file Uh, then after that you have created and populated all the necessary files commit each new file to the repository by clicking on commit new file to the main button and once you commit this file your uh, space will switch to building and you should see the containers build log pop up so that you can monitor its status then using the app so if all goes well your space should switch to running once it is done building and the swagger docs generated by fast api should appear in the app tab because these docs are interactive you can try it out by expanding the details of this generate endpoints by clicking try it out button so here in this video we have covered the basics of creating a docker space building and configuring a basic fast api app for text generation that uses the google T5 small model. You can use this as a guide or as a starting point to build more complex and exciting applications that leverage the power of machine learning. Thank you.